the natural gas drilling that they're doing up in Wyoming and Montana and stuff. You're probably aware of that. Canada just got to shutting it down. Mexico exports 30% of its oil to the United States. They announced that they only have two years left of their oil for the whole country. Where do they get their oil? From Latin America. So you have Latin America now that's in a new deal. China, last week, again, currently, made a deal with Venezuela to buy all of their oil for the next three years. Boone Pickens, last week, somebody was here in the audience, attended the meeting, and he said oil will be $300 a barrel very shortly. What's the most valuable mineral on the planet? Water. We're running out of potable water everywhere. This is not just here, the entire planet. So the guys have to do something else. They got to get you ready for World War III. Now they reported on television about three weeks ago, you maybe saw it on CNN, the so-called Russian nuclear submarines that were seen on the East Coast. Have any of you seen it? A few of you did, right? This is their nuclear-powered submarine that's about two football fields in length, five stories tall, and able to do 80 miles an hour underneath the water, totally undetected. Now, they reported this. The reason why that was imported three weeks ago, what had happened this week? Russia sits down to the United States, Obama's sitting over there, and what did he just do? He said, we will no longer put any of our missile defense over in Europe. You know why? Because we got nuclear submarines on both coasts, including the West Coast, and they have a list of all the cities that the bomber, the nuclear submarines will take out. When they're talking about vaporizing people, our former Secretary of Defense, who was part of the non nuclear non-proliferation agreement on public broadcasting, PBS, spent an hour explaining that within 90 seconds we'll vaporize five million people. We are their expendable containers. It's getting serious right now because of what's going on in the Middle East. Uh, we have a Russian in the audience, we were just talking about it, I got word too, Netanyahu went up to see Putin and Putin threw him out. Putin is basically a front man for the U.S. that's setting up to get World War III started in the Middle East. And that was the plan 2000 that Jimmy Carter put in writing. These are the games that we're setting up right now. They've got to do something because what is coming up on September 30th, another day? The end of the fiscal year in the United States. Again, we don't, they don't tell you because they do the accounting underneath the sheets basically so you don't know what's going on. But the fiscal year begins with us 100 trillion in debt and derivatives. I've defied on the radio and everything else, anybody else to tell me how you can value a derivative. I've said that on coast to coast five years ago. And a derivative is just a, an instrument created by the people and they, we got insurance companies to insure it so they gave it some kind of value. Of course, that insurance company went broke, didn't it? And then the government stepped in and they immediately rescued that insurance company. And why did they immediately do that? Because it was holding all the funds for the retirement accounts for all of the congressmen and settlement. Did you know that? It's an inside deal, guys. We're playing with a, a, a stacked deck. When I was inside the Beltway, we used to sit down. Remember, they just got you marching on Washington because of the health thing? We know the health thing's dead. You all know it right now. But it's a way they're trying to get the American people to line up to get shots, to get regulated, and everything else. We have problems. We don't have any goods coming in. Last, this is last week now. A small company called Walmart got a billion-dollar loan. Now, what's a billion dollars? Anybody know what a billion dollars is? Yeah, it's a $10,000, $100,000 homes, or $5,000, $100,000 homes. Of the million houses that went into foreclosure in the last 12 months, half of them are back in foreclosure. Did you know that? In, in England today, one out of seven households, in England, one out of seven households, there's no job. How many people are unemployed here in the United States, and what is the one thing that's killing everybody? is the secret thing that's going on, it's called inflation. How many times have you gone to the store lately and see what the price is going up? Do you think it's going up 1%, 2%? The true figures are getting closer to 20%. And you can, you can prove that, go buy an apple. 
Did you know 90% of the cost of an apple and all the fruits and all that is in transportation? 90%. Why are the farmers going broke? What's happening? We have a problem because of greed, non-coordinating everything, and energy. Everybody has to have some kind of energy. None of the energy solutions that they're providing are cost effective. I don't care what they put on them, whether it's windmills or whether it's anything else they have. Nuclear may have it, but it takes 10 years to get a plant going, but nuclear has a problem because nuclear is the only thing, nuclear energy, if it goes off, will destroy the solar energy. Real problem, it disrupts it. The extraterrestrials are monitoring all that. It's not a question of what's going on because there's a thing called free will. If we're crazy enough to kill ourselves, that's all right. They're prepared to encapsulate the planet and make another sun out of it. There's groups of extraterrestrials that are considering us that they engineered us in the first place. I've been traveling around some places like in Ecuador where the Anunnaki and stuff have things where they were originally involved. And you read about it in Genesis where they're engineering people. We're engineered. We're all extraterrestrial. And when you leave this, what I call Renorec, this body, you become an extraterrestrial, right? This soul continues the journey whether it's here or not. And there's no such thing as death, only in the, with the one exception that the ETs told me, if we get hit by a nuclear, there's a possibility. So what you have to do every day when you do the little prayer, and I hope you all do, I'm a human becoming, help me become, ask for protection and guidance daily. I don't care where you live. There's gonna be places that are safer than others. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. I mean, I, I was with the, the guy, the second in command, the FEMA head down in Phoenix. And he said, well, we know what's coming down for California because you're getting ready for the San Andreas to break. And that's gonna be before the war. I have some kind of, I've been trying to figure this out because I saw San Francisco totally, the pictures of it totally collapsed. And it was because of an earthquake, it wasn't because of the war. So it has to be fairly shortly because these guys are running behind time. The Plan 2000, just so you know, calls for a war to get started in the Middle East in the year 2000. Now they've been trying to do it, haven't they? How much bombings do you have to put up with? Israel was set up in 48 specifically for this purpose. I mean, it's an incredible deal. So you're gonna watch. Netanyahu was gonna, he went up to Russia because he was, he was getting ready, he says, we're gonna hit Iran. Guess who supplies Iran with all the nuclear technology? Russia. Russia pulled all their scientists from all of the reactors and everything down there. The Iranians wanted to do was build plants to recycle the nuclear waste. You're all familiar with nuclear power and radiation, what it does? You need the United States. You know, they called me a few weeks ago from Alamogordo, New Mexico. There's a lot of nuclear stuff down there. You know what our government's planning on doing? Burning radiation. Does that make any sense to you? We've already tried this experiment, right? Didn't the United States, when we discovered nuclear energy, we started exploding nuclear bombs in the higher atmosphere. That has formed an energy beam that has eaten holes through the ozone. None of the CFC malarkey. CFC is, is the stuff in the refrigerators. It's cold, it goes down to the ground. It doesn't go up in the air. It's kind of like using a cell phone and turn them off in the airplane. Hey, that's all microwaves. You people don't realize when you put a cell phone up to yourself, you're microwaving yourself. And it's all done by the microwave tires we're aiming at the ground. They don't go up in the air anyway. It's all line of sight. People don't realize that. If you have a cell phone, I have one, but I don't use it as a speaker phone, so it's held away from me. Because what it does, it's up next to your brain, and now they're, they're coming out with a TV special next week to tell you on all the cancers that are being formed. Remember the vibration that's coming into your ear? The, the, the receivers in there are vibrating and that's being translated into your brain in order to be offset. Now we have two systems going on within your body. That's your conscious mind, which is remaining, which is supposed to be awake. And it's supposed to be awake because of a, a, a hormone called serotonin. You're all familiar with that? When the sun comes up, serotonin comes in and here, here we are, a 3D world. I mean, you don't need coffee. You can have the serotonin, it's natural. And at nighttime, the sun goes down and we have what? Melatonin. Melatonin allows you to go to sleep. Between